a mechanical engineer who left his profession for the Lord and is now a full-time Catholic evangelist since 91. Hails from Kerala, India. He then started Kingdom Ministry, which is a lay initiative of a group of committed people. His spiritual retreats soon became very, very popular. That bishops all over India invite him to their diocese for conducting retreats for the lay, religious, and the clergy. He has since conducted missions in Europe, Eucharistic adoration and retreats for families in Austria, Germany, Switzerland, France, Poland, Slovakia, Italy, and United States. We welcome to Take 5 none other than Brother Thomas Paul. Hello, brother. Hi. Thank you for accepting our request to do an interview with you for Take 5. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start um, by asking you, what brings you to HSI? It is the very word, Holy Spirit Interactive. <laughs> the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in Anil so, and the team okay. interacted with Holy Spirit in me and my team. So the Holy Spirit brought us together. <laughs> So, uh, how did you hear about Brother Anil then? Yeah, yeah, it is uh, uh, Brother Anil is known to everybody. There are a lot of uh, mm -hmm. publications and uh, emails, and I used to get uh, newsletter mm -hmm. things like that. So I was aware about it. Yeah. Meanwhile, Rohan happened to watch some of my videos. Then he wrote me that uh, more about things then. Mm -hmm. He was inspired to understand more about the New Wine series. He yeah. saw the my video uh, series on New Wine and then we had communication. They invited him to participate in one of the retreats uh, preached in Divine Retreat Center. So mm -hmm. he, he took part in this. Then he realized this is something very good for the people here yeah. in in way back here yeah, in yeah, Dubai yeah. to more strengthen in spiritual life, in the life with the spirit. So that's how it planned. Okay. So yes. I know that we, you're conducting some retreats here. You conducted a retreat here. Yes. What was the response like from everyone who came to, for these retreats? Yeah, yeah. everyone uh, felt this is a real uh, area of growth mm -hmm. they can grow yeah. the way they have been working for the lord for so many years mm -hmm. now they need a promotion <laughs> so when yeah. the lord said well done since you have been faithful in little things for so many years mm -hmm. i will make you responsible for greater things so that i will equip you with more strong understanding teaching yeah. etc so that way the teachings they heard was very good uh, for them to grow yeah. that's what i felt so from the people that you have encountered here during the retreats and the seminars that are taking place here uh wh how did you feel what did you think about their spiritual maturity there is a very good uh, 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 I feel I felt very good that they were very positive to receive more knowledge, more understanding, more pious to grow. Mm -hmm. So they were eager to grasp. They were thirsty for the revelations and uh, deeper teachings and prayer, as well as commitment. Operation of charisms began. I saw in them. A lot of people begin to get visions and gift of tongues and various revelations. So, Holy Spirit is really interacting <laughs> in them and to make them strong. Spiritually That's strong. what I am very happy and I felt also very good this uh, visit. There's something that you do, brother, which I find personally is very refreshing because you don't really see a lot of people doing it very often which is you quote scriptures but you you quote scriptures specifically 
the ones that Jesus specifically tells us or the ones that Jesus is quoted in the Bible. Why is that you do that? Yeah, that is uh, the way Holy Spirit guided me mm -hmm. is to now all that what was in the Old Testament yeah. was a prophecy. Yeah. That prophecy is fulfilled in coming of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So now what is important? Prophecy or fulfillment? Fulfillment. Fulfillment. Yeah. So that once uh, we understand, and it is not me, it is the Holy Spirit quoting me. Mm -hmm. That when Holy Spirit is leading me, I don't make any note. I have preached five days retreat. I have not prepared any note. Mm -hmm. No text, no script, nothing I have written. I stand there, even when I stand there, I do not know what I am going to preach. Yeah. Such narrow or such... And as you sing a Holy Spirit song and we invite the Holy Spirit, then a word comes. Mm -hmm. I can see a word is coming, then I say a word is coming. Yeah. I can see a word of God. And there I begin. Okay. And then connect to that the word coming one after another. Mm -hmm. So that is all Jesus' words. Nevertheless, it is also referring sometime to the Old, Old Testament, Testament, but that is in reference to Jesus. Mm. To the that, coming of Jesus, basically. Yeah, all what is in the Old Testament can be connected with uh, Jesus. So mm. that is why Jesus said, first seek the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and its right. That is the righteousness brought by Jesus, yeah. not by Moses. Mm -hmm. Of course, the righteousness by Moses is fulfilled. And now Jesus brought a new righteousness. Mm -hmm. So then old has no validity. Yeah. Your old visa is cancelled. You got a new visa <laughs> stamp, then still you are showing the old visa. What is the use? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like I tell an example, uh, there was a marriage alliance taking place. The yeah. boy is in America. He started sending pictures mm -hmm. and the family is very happy. A yeah, very good boy. And every month he says, but finally the boy has come. Mm -hmm. the, he became the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. Now should we see the pictures or see the person directly? Person directly. Directly. So that is how. Isaiah sent some picture about the one who is going to come. Yeah. Ezekiel sent, Jeremiah sent, prophets sent pictures about the one who is going to come. Yeah. And he has come. Yeah. He is with us. You eat him every day. <laughs> so then we have to focus on him. And that exactly what Jesus while he was on Mount Tabor, he was transfigured. God the Father came in a cloud while Moses and Elijah was with him. Mm -hmm. It is for them also to hear. In presence of them, God the Father said, This is my beloved son. Listen to him. It is for, for Peter, John and Jacob who are there to understand now all what Moses and Elijah said is fulfilled in coming of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Now whom should you listen? Moses or Elijah or Jesus? Jesus. Jesus. Because in they are very happy yeah. when you listen to Jesus because their purpose was to introduce Jesus to the world. Yeah. Like everything was like a foreshadow of what was to come. There you go. There you go. There you go. That is the right word. Mm -hmm. A foreshadow. Where you got this word? <laughs> that exactly is the right word. Foreshadow. Okay. So what should you do? Shadow or the real person? Real person. Now the real person has come. So this is what evangelization means. Evangelization means speaking about good news, the gospel. What Jesus brought. It is a good news now because there was a not good news. Mm. The not good news was if you do like this, you will be condemned, you will be punished. Yeah. The good news is that, don't worry, all that punishment I will take. <laughs> Isn't it a good news? Yeah, it is. 
Of mercy and compassion. Mercy and compassion. That's it. So therefore, gospel means the message of salvation for the sinners spoken and brought by Jesus and his words are incarnate words. That's why Jesus said in John chapter 15, the word of God is coming, wine and branches, I am the wine, you are my branch. Whoever abide in me and my words abide in him. Yeah. Whatever you ask will be given to you. Whatever. Whatever. That's there is a clue in that. My word. Not the words of the Pharisees. Mm. My words. That's where you have to understand that. Yeah. So my question is, how, how important is evangelizing the good news to people who do not know Christ and to people who do know Christ and are Christians but are not you know, like faithful followers or just like Sunday mass going Christians and not, you know, implementing daily prayers in their lives kind of Christians. Yes, same. First of all, we have recognized that Christ has come not, or he is not a private property for Christians alone. Jesus Christ is a savior of the world. He has come. He took the sin of the whole humanity. This once we recognize and that work of evangelization he has given to us through the working of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That is where the Holy Spirit interaction has to take place. Mm -hmm. So when we who are filled with the Holy Spirit should do something more and more than our own uh, the existing Christians who are already baptized must use the gifts of the Holy Spirit so automatically evangelization will take place. Mm. In one way for those who are uh, already matured in Christian uh, discipleship should grow to more higher levels. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of new charisms, a lot of new ministries, a lot of new ways are developed by Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And those who are not matured, those who are growing in the Spirit, they need to grow so that our those who have already grown up should help them to grow by teaching. Mm -hmm. We have the Catholic Catechism mm -hmm. and other teachings of the saints and the Pope's teachings as well as the proclamation. So this is something for all what is baptized. But at the same time, the, the new evangelization, this is called re-evangelization mm -hmm. of the existing Christians. But new evangelization is for those who not yet heard about Christ or not yet understood the experience of the Christ. So that is our main target or main mm -hmm. desire should be. So first of all, we have to pray for them. So through prayer, we will be able to reach. Mm -hmm. And then surely we will get in contact with them. Yeah. Then we can proclaim to them. And so Holy Spirit makes the possible. Therefore, it is uh, said by St. John Paul II that Holy Spirit is the principal agent of evangelization. The Holy Spirit will coordinate all this work of evangelization. Mm -hmm. That is why we need an upgrading. <laughs> there it is. There is yeah. the software, the See, one I was waiting for. The software, like we had Windows 8, but now Windows 10 has come. Mm. That has a very important meaning in the sense, one thing, the Holy Spirit you already received, always need an upgrading. But another thing is, historically, the working of the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament, the Holy Spirit filled in the people of Old Testament, mm -hmm. how that is differing from the Holy Spirit what is now after Pentecost. Yeah. So that is where we understand this upgrading more important. Mm -hmm. It is the same Holy Spirit, 
but the holy spirit's worked before the incarnation passion death and resurrection and ascension mm-hmm. is a version original mm-hmm. version mm-hmm. but not upgraded version through incarnation passion death resurrection and ascension the salvation mystery has fulfilled so the merits of the salvation mystery is now available to us mm-hmm. for all those who seek seek or it is available to the whole world yeah because he has done it for the whole world yeah so although it holy spirit was earlier working that same holy spirit worked in these salvific salvific mysteries yeah. so that after the salvific mystery we have a upgraded version windows 10 so that once you say yes to download all earlier version will be deleted and a new version completely new setup more yeah. operation more things these were one of the few things that i love about brother thomas paul because his analogies are so funny yet they make you understand and i hope that you guys get a few glimpses of his youtube channel because some of his talks are amazing and inspirational so that's all we have for you today on take 5 brother thomas paul thank you so much for joining us thank you god bless <laughs> god bless you too and we hope that you come back here to our studios and we can talk some more <laughs> a lot more in fact yes, about yes, yes. software upgrades <laughs> <laughs> so until next week bye